How much sleep do babies and young children need? Well, it's something that's changing all the time from when they're born right through to the, through toddlerhood and beyond. It's evolving all the time, but knowing how much they need at each stage and phase is going to really equip you with helping them to continually maintain enough sleep overall. So the first thing I recommend doing is downloading our sleep needs chart so that that's something you can keep an eye on and gauge. The thing with the amount of sleep that one needs is yes, they are all different and it does change with age and the stages, but we often think that we have a child that just doesn't need as much sleep as the others. The thing is they usually do and sometimes even more so. Yes, children are all different, but most of them, at least 95%, will fit into the averages we've mapped out in our chart. So it's very rare that a child will be okay on significantly less sleep than we've put in there. We haven't put a precision amount, we've put a range. And so some children might fall on the higher side of that range and need the, the larger amount. Other children might sit on the lower side of that range and be okay on a lesser amount, but they're probably gonna fit somewhere in that range or pretty close to it. If they are drastically outside of that range, if, especially if they are getting significantly less sleep than it, we've mapped out for you for that age range, they probably are underslept and not getting enough. And you're probably seeing effects like difficulty settling at bedtime, disturbed night times, early wake-ups, all those kinds of things. So do keep an eye on that chart as your little one grows to ensure they are getting enough sleep because they do really, really need it. The other thing to take note of is the time, the times between sleeps as well. How much time can your little one manage to be awake between sleeps? It's a common misconception that babies will just tell us when they're tired, that they will just yawn and rub their eyes and give us all the signals and we'll go, oh, it's sleepy time now. Don't wait for your little one to tell you they need to sleep. They will at some point probably show those signs and for many, they won't even show those cues for sleep until it's too late or virtually too late and they're becoming overtired. So I try to tell people that yes, have one eye on your baby and look for those signals and cues, but also have one eye on the time and know the wakeful window. If you know your little one's been awake for three hours and you think, well, this is about the maximum they can do, but they don't seem tired yet, doesn't matter. It's time for a sleep. If you wait too much longer and then you wait for those sleepy signs, you might miss the window and then you'll have a much harder time, believe it or not, in getting your little one to settle to sleep. So. Have, I, I describe it as having one eye on the time and one eye on the child so you can find the optimal window for the best quality of sleep and get them the rest that they really, really need. Another thing that can confuse us sometimes is um, that little ones might not necessarily show us how much sleep they need and we can be caught out by letting them drop a nap or stop having so much before they're truly ready. This is very common with toddlers when life is just too exciting to be taking a sleep in the day. So they'll give you the impression that they're fine. They'll want to keep going and they'll resist napping. Just because they don't want to take a nap doesn't mean they don't need to take that nap. And if they don't take it, you'll get repercussions later on, probably early rising and disturbed night times. So, you can't always take what you see from your little one as the absolute certainty around how much sleep they need. You need to know too, at the end of the day, you're their guide, you're their leader, you're the one that shows them the way and helps them as best you can. So having this knowledge really is power and it really will benefit your little one when they are getting the amount of healthy, restorative, nourishing sleep that they do truly, truly need.